Hey everybody, um, we are out here today, <laughs> look at that, we need to try to separate that before we try to put them back on, before we try to put them back on. We're out here today to uh, get this anole out of the hive. You see that I finally did repair this medium uh, deep body and now we're going in there to see whether or not the queen has moved up to here and if they're laying and the bees have been very very active here lately so we want to see if they've started putting away nectar and just generally how things are are looking i don't think they're going to be ready for any kind of a split because this entire hive body was totally empty uh, there, there wasn't even the least bit of uh, nectar pollen eggs or anything uh, so i imagine they're not going to be trying to make any uh, splits yet. Now this had honey on it last time and it looks like they've uh, finished up the stores that were in it. Before I go too far, um, y'all saw in the last or two videos, two or three videos ago, uh, where I accidentally set that grass fire. And uh, I was contacted by a company who said they weren't expecting any kind of uh, kickback if you will uh, but they saw that my gloves had been burned up and they wanted to offer to send me another pair of gloves and that's that's what I'm wearing right now and boy I got to tell you these are some kind of fancy schmancy um, I think it's deer skin and they are so much more uh, dexterous and supple and I'm really anxious to finally get into these so even though you fine folks didn't ask for any kind of kickback, I want to put a shout out there to Glory Bee, uh, which is a family-owned company here in the United States. So uh, look them up if you're trying to get some of your beekeeping supplies. They might have what you're looking for, and they're loyal supporters and watchers of J&J &J Acres, so they've got my vote. So it doesn't look like they've established any new comb yet on the supers. Uh, that might mean that they've started putting away uh, some nectar down in the deeps. So we're just going to have to get down to that point and check. Well, while Jennifer keeps looking through these, uh, these frames, what, what can I tell you guys? This clover field uh, is working out fairly well. Uh, we did have a problem with it where over winter the ducks got out of their fencing and they just mowed this sucker all the way down to the ground. So I was pretty worried about whether or not the clover was really well established and if it would kick back. Thankfully, it has. And now we've got a nice lush field of clover that is starting to come out with some, uh, some flowers. It's starting to flower, so I'm pretty excited about that. They have started to use the deep as a place to put their honey because it's still so empty. Okay, so now we're down in the bottom hive body and this was what was the second hive body the last time you saw me in the hive and i took out the bottom one so i could repair it which is now this one and is empty so this was where i was seeing a lot of activity before there was tons of eggs tons of larvae tons of brood tons of pollen and from the activity of these girls i can't help but think that there's going to be a good bit of activity Look at all the brood on that puppy. <laughs> you got it? There are several supercells over here. And Those are drones. Okay. Alright, so lots of drone cells here. Lots of them. So they've built out the comb in some areas so that they could get drones into them. Which means that, you know, I would expect somewhere on here, that means there's going to be a, a swarm cell or a supersedure cell to, uh, for the, you know, you don't make drones unless you need a queen to get pregnant. Now these are all drone cells down here too. But still tons of workers. They're not just doing just drones, but they are making a focus on getting some drones done up. Even if we find her, it's kind of a moot point in that in the grass fire, I also lost my, high, uh, my queen clip, uh, my marker uh, 
tool, the you know the little plunger looking thing that you use to put the queen into so that you can then mark her. Uh, and my marker all burned up. Uh, if you look back at that video, you'll see a point where I go into the middle of the charred out area and take a little baggie out. That baggie was carrying all those things and they got totally destroyed. So, uh, and with just one hive that's kind of eh, performing, I wasn't going to invest in buying those things and paying for the shipping. It'd been a different thing if I had 12 hives to go through or something, but not just for one. I'm not going to bother with it. We still have uh, day-old eggs in there. Okay. I don't think we've lost her, but we've got supersedure cells going on in the middle of this frame. So are we going to let it happen? Well, supersedure is for the, this queen to get replaced and them to stay in this hive. Right. So yeah, we need that to happen. If they think that the queen needs to get replaced, then, then we need to let them do that. But this is surrounded by brood that's capped, so I can only presume that that's actually going to go through, that there's actually egg in some of those supersedure cells. And they're going to do it. But I can see day-old eggs in here. So Queenie Poo is in here still somewhere. So we found some supersedure cells that were totally wrapped around surrounded by cat brood and day old eggs and so we know that they're probably creating a new queen we couldn't find the queen but i did find the little the little uh, rice uh, kernels inside of cells those are one day eggs so she's in here somewhere but she hid beyond our view which really surprises me because jennifer almost always can find her uh, so all we've done is buttoned it back up and it'll probably be several weeks before we bother going back into here because other than one frame in the very bottom deep that's full of nectar, there's very little activity going on. Uh, they, they're not really drawing out much comb. They're not uh, really bringing home uh, a lot of food. So we're, I don't... I don't, I'm not one to go in the hive time after time again to see what the day-to-day -day changes are. So we'll probably take a little break and come back in a couple weeks and see what's really going on with this. One last thank you to Glory Bee uh, for the new gloves so that I could work the hive. Uh, I really did like this, this deer skin on here. Uh, it was a lot nicer uh, to be able to grab those things. So. Uh, if y'all saw, my wife's using an old pair that's patched up with duct tape, so we just might be going back to Glory B and, and ordering us a pair like this uh, just for my wife as well. So uh, thank y'all so much for watching. If you saw anything as we were going through the hive that we didn't talk about on camera, then we probably didn't know about it. So make sure you tell us about it down in the comments below and let us know if you saw something that should have caught our attention that did not. Thank y'all for watching. We'll see you next time.